Hey guys, Astro Bella here, and today we're talking about Aquarius in love. And first and foremost, if you like what I have to say, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my page. And if you love astrology, make sure to download my app, Astro Bella. It is in the App Store and on Google Play. And you can get your birth chart on there, your yearly horoscope, your daily horoscope, and so many more astrological goodies. All right, let's dive right in. Aquarius in love. Aquarius is an air sign, okay? And they're a masculine sign. So they're not afraid to show you that they're into you, okay? They're more initiative than the other signs. But at the same time, they're gonna show you they're into you in a very friendly way, okay? Because to them, they like to treat all people the same, okay? Whether they're in love with you, you're their romantic partner, you're their friend or family member, they want everyone to be equal, okay? So it, Aquarius, if they like you, they will give you attention and they will communicate with you because they're also air signs. So they, they love to be social. They love their friends. They love to spend time around people. They love to share their brilliant mind with other people. So they're always in constant communication with others. So if they're constantly communicating with you, that means that they like you. But they may not be overly romantic about showing you that they like you. Remember, they're also ruled by the planet Saturn. And Saturn is a little bit more reserved, a little bit more slow, pessimistic. Saturn is a little bit more cold, more distant. And that's probably why Aquariuses get are known for being aloof and detached okay a lot of that comes from saturn it also comes from the air element because they're very in their head they're thinking a lot they're thinking about the greater good of humanity how to save the world they're thinking about social causes and what they could do to make this world a better place they're thinking about the masses they're thinking about the whole they're thinking about the bigger picture they're thinking about the future and humanity so they definitely have the ability to love very deeply. It's just the way that they show it is more in a friendly, cool, detached, calm manner, as opposed to like writing love letters or serenading you or writing you poetry. It's just not the Aquarian style. So if they're not doing all that, that doesn't mean they don't like you. They're just gonna treat you like their friend. And if they're treating you like their friend, that means that they do like you, okay? Because they love their friends. And for them, it's much easier to get into a relationship if they've been friends with someone for a very long time, or if you're their friend first, um, it's much easier for them to make the transition into lover. Because going straight into lover, it's, it's difficult because it's, it's just not who they are. They're not super emotional. They don't get super detached. They really value their freedom. They value their intelligence. They value their mind. They value the minds of others. So they're not trying to hop into something overly passionate, romantic, emotional. They're just trying to chill. They're just trying to connect. They're trying to share ideas. They want to know about your ideas. If they ask you about your ideas, and your vision for a better world, that probably means that they're into you. If you're telling, if you guys are talking about the future together, that's a good sign. That means that they're into you because they're going to want to share their ideas about making this world a better place. And they, they're gonna wanna hear yours. They're gonna wanna have fun with you. They're gonna wanna have intellectual conversations. They're gonna wanna laugh with you. They're gonna wanna try different and out there things because Aquarius is also co-ruled by Uranus, and Uranus is the planet of eccentricity, things that are out there, unconventional. So the Aquarius is a really hard sign to pin down, to understand, because there's so many contrasting things, and they end up manifesting, their energy ends up manifesting as almost unexplainable, uh, just different, unique, marching to the beat of their own drum. And they're attracted to that too. If you're on uh, authenticity, if you're just doing your own thing and you're doing it your way, an Aquarius is going to be attracted to that. Aquarius is, is attracted to brilliance as well because they're super brilliant. So they want to share that brilliance with someone else. They want to have life-changing conversations with people. Aquariuses are also fixed signs. Okay, so they're very, very loyal. I mean, they may not be super attached or emotional, but once they make up their mind about you, they're going to stick to that. They're going to stay faithful. They're going to stay loyal. Fixed signs are the most loyal out of all the signs. And that's what Aquariuses are. Um, and, and they're a lot of fun to be around. You can learn so much from them. They're really looking at the bigger picture and they want that too. They want to do things their own way. They want to take the unconventional approach 
to things, okay? They wanna try things. They wanna experiment. They wanna do things differently. They wanna be out of the box, okay? And they appreciate that in others. And they just wanna, you can't, even making a video about them is hard because you can't really, you can't explain an Aquarian's energy. That's why it's like, we've got Pluto and Aquarius right now, but it's like, it's so hard to explain because if we don't know what it is, it surprises. They can surprise you. They could, you know, throw you for a complete loop. You never know what you're gonna get with them. It's always a good time. It's always fun. They're, because they're, they're almost, they're not even living in the now. They're so fast. Their minds are working so fast that they're almost in the future. They're a little bit ahead of everyone else. And they want, they want that. They wanna be able to share that same vibe with someone else. They're just ahead of the game. They're they're ahead of everyone. Okay, they're they like they, they see what's coming before it's even here, and they do really well with air signs because they value intelligence, they value being social, they value being with their friends. So air signs are great for them. They do great with the fire signs because the fire signs get them a feeling a little bit of something, a passion, and enthusiasm when they could be a little bit cool, calm, and detached. For example, Leo is their opposite sign. They're going to do great with Leo. They balance each other out. Um, Leo definitely makes them connect with their heart more, which is what they need. They don't have the best time with the water signs because the water signs are a little bit too emotional for them and they just don't get it. They don't vibe that way. They don't roll that way. They like to keep things light and they love their freedom, okay? And they love their independence and they don't want to be tied down. They don't want any heavy emotional attachments, okay? Earth signs they're a little bit too out there for the earth signs you know they're kind of doing things very differently i mean capricorn might vibe with an aquarius just because of that saturn connection they're both disciplined and structured and a little aloof and just detached so that could work but um definitely they love the air signs just be smart you know just be smart and an aquarius will like you and don't don't try to like tie them down or, or suffocate them or possess them in any way because they're not going to be cool with that. So if you're trying to pursue an Aquarius, just show them. Show them your mind. Show them your brilliance. Tell them about your vision for the future, for society, how to make this world a better place. And if you're an Aquarius looking for love, just keep doing what you're doing. You know, maybe you might want to investigate to see if a friend of yours could be a potential lover because you being friends with someone first is the best way for you to do it. So I wish you the best of luck in finding the best love for your crazy self. And that's all I have for you today. I will see you guys in the next video.